The story of Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, the arrogant and oppressive Pharaoh and the escape from Egypt. The Pharaoh that ruled in the time of Prophet Moses was a very arrogant, oppressive tyrant who would declare to be a god and slaughter newborn sons because he was afraid a boy might grow up and destroy his kingdom. When Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, was born, Moses' mother was very worried that the oppressive Pharaoh was going to slaughter her baby. But Allah the Glorious inspired her to make a wooden box, place him in it, and cast him into the river without fearing and or grieving, because he would surely return him to her and make him one of his messengers. The palace servants found the basket with Prophet Moses as a baby and took it to the Pharaoh and wife Asiya who, unlike her husband, was a very pious and righteous woman. She said to the Pharaoh, He will be the comfort of our eye for me and you. Do not kill him. Perhaps he may benefit us, or we may adopt him as a son. So they took him, and she built a special love for this baby. She was not able to have a baby of her own. Allah saved Moses when he was a baby, and he was never harmed. As Prophet Moses got older, Allah blessed him with good judgment, knowledge, good health, strength, and wisdom. One day, Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, who was not a prophet yet, saw two men fighting. One was an Israelite and the other was an Egyptian. The Egyptian was beating up the Israelite. Once Prophet Moses saw this, he got angry and immediately struck the Egyptian, who ended up dying on the spot. Realizing that he accidentally killed someone without meaning to do so, he felt regret and begged Allah for forgiveness, and Allah forgave him. When Prophet Moses realized that the chief was looking for him to trial him and kill him, he escaped Egypt quickly without taking anything with him. As he was fleeing, he sat under some shade and saw a band of shepherds watering their sheep, and two sisters were struggling to try to hold their animals from running to the lake to drink. Prophet Musa walked up to them and asked them, What's the matter, and why aren't they letting their animals drink like the rest of the animals? They replied, They wanted to wait until the men were finished feeding their animals water before they feed their animals, because they didn't want to mix with the men, and that their father was too old to do it. Prophet Musa voluntarily took their animals and went down to the lake to feed the two sisters' animals. Then he returned the animals to the sisters and started to walk over to the shade away from the sisters. Prophet Musa, peace be upon him, wanted to make up for the mistake he made in Egypt by doing some good deeds. As he was returning to a shade under a tree, he made a dua to Allah. He asked Allah to send him whatever good his way and that he would be grateful and that he is poor and has nothing. After that, the young ladies returned home earlier than usual, which surprised their father. After their father heard what had happened, he asked his daughter to invite him over to thank him for what he had done. The girl that he had helped came back shyly and told Prophet Musa that her father wanted to thank him for what he did. So he went to her dad. One of the daughters suggested to her father that he should employ Prophet Moses, as he was strong and trustworthy, and they can use his help. Her father offered Prophet Moses a job, food, and even married his daughter to him. Ten years passed. Prophet Moses decided to go back to Egypt with his family.